the tallest man ever recorded was American giant Robert Wadlow. His height of 8 feet 11 inches qualifies him as the tallest person in history, as recorded in the Guinness Book of Records. Robert Pershing Wadlow was born on February 22, 1918 in Alton, Illinois. Robert was the firstborn of Addie and Harold Wadlow. He had two sisters, Helen and Betty, and two brothers, Eugene and Harold Jr., all of whom were of average height and weight. When he turned 20, Robert traveled for the International Shoe Company, who provided him with free shoes, which usually cost $100 a pair. His excessive height was due to an overactive pituitary gland, for which there was no treatment at the time. Robert Wadlow was of normal height and weight at birth, 8 pounds, 6 ounces, according to his hometown Alton Museum of History. But during his childhood, pituitary problems led to his outsized growth. By age 8 he was 6 feet tall, by age 16 he stood nearly 7 feet 10 inches and weighed over 370 pounds. Though he was a relatively healthy boy, he did have to deal with another major obstacle, due to his extreme height, he suffered from a lack of feeling in his legs and feet. If he did feel anything, it was nothing more than a constant tingling. Still, he preferred to walk on his own, never once using a wheelchair, even if it would have aided him greatly. In 1936, Robert Wadlow was noticed by the Ringling Brothers and the Traveling Circus. The Ringlings knew he would make an excellent addition to their show, particularly when he was showcased alongside the troupe of little people already employed by the circus. Indeed, the tallest man in the world drew a huge crowd, from Madison Square Garden to Boston Garden and beyond, turning him into somewhat of a celebrity. When he wasn't traveling the world, selling shoes or participating in sideshows, the tallest man in the world enjoyed a quiet life. His friends and family remembered him as mild-mannered and polite, earning him the nickname, Gentle Giant. Until his ever-growing limbs began to prevent it, Wadlow was often seen playing the guitar and working on his photography. Due to the lack of feeling in his legs, he didn't notice that the braces were rubbing against his ankle. In 1940, while making an appearance at Michigan's Manistee National Forest Festival, a blister formed that became infected, causing doctors to resort to a blood transfusion and emergency surgery. Unfortunately, his great height also left him with a weakened immune system, and he eventually succumbed to the infection. On July 15, 1940, Robert Wadlow died in his sleep. Just 18 days prior, he had been measured for the final time, clocking in at 8 feet, 11.1 inches. His body was laid to rest in his hometown of Alton, Illinois. He was placed in a casket fit for the tallest man in the world. It reached a length of 10 feet, 9 inches, and weighed in at 1,000 pounds. It took a dozen men to carry it out of the funeral, supported by another eight assistants. Thousands of people came out to mourn him. Though he died at just 22 years of age, Robert Wadlow left behind a legacy as large as he was, literally. Erected in 1985, a life-size bronze statue of Wadlow stands in Alton, on the campus of the Southern Illinois University School of Dental Medicine. Across the street, at the Alton Museum of History and Art, visitors can see photographs of Wadlow, as well as a few pairs of his shoes, his third grade school desk, his graduation cap and gown, and his size 25 Masonic ring. Wadlow also holds the record for the largest hands ever, measuring 12.75 inches from the wrist to the tip of his middle finger. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and follow our page in Facebook as well as our YouTube channel for more content. Bye for now.